Good evening, York Mills Collegiate graduates of 2021 and guests. Welcome to our commencement exercises. My name is Barry Peterson, and I have the privilege of being your Master of Ceremonies for this evening's celebration of the accomplishments of our students. Please rise for the land acknowledgement and national anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in all of us command, with glowing hearts we see the rise, the true north strong and free from far and wide oh canada we stand on guard for thee god keep our land glorious and free Out of our deep respect for the Indigenous peoples of Canada, we acknowledge we are hosted on the lands of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. Please be seated. We are here to honor our graduates and to celebrate their accomplishments as students of York Mills Collegiate. But more than that, we're here to send them on their way with our wishes for success as they move forward into the rest of their lives. Graduates, since you haven't officially graduated yet, please make sure your tassel is on the right side of your cap. No graduate would be here today without the support of a community. Parents, teachers, relatives, and friends have all played a role in helping you make it to this special day. There's one teacher who taught at York Mills 11 years ago and had a profound influence on the school. His name was Peter Polly. Peter taught English at York Mills for 40 years and touched the lives of thousands of students. Peter was also the master of ceremonies of these commencement exercises for many years, and he never failed to incorporate an audience participation component into these ceremonies. The activity went something like this. I'd like you all to join me in doing this. Please raise your right hand in the air. Now reach that hand behind you to your left shoulder and give yourselves a pat on the back for a job well done. Congratulations to everyone. To begin our program this evening, please welcome our special guests. My name is Rachel Chernis Lynn and I'm the trustee for Ward 11, Don Valley West. Parents, caregivers, family members, teachers, members of the entire staff here at York Mills, and most importantly to our wonderful graduates, it gives me great pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the Toronto District School Board. Graduation day for the class of 2021 has finally arrived, and while we can't all be here together in person like we normally would, that doesn't make it any less special or less meaningful as this is a big day for everyone involved and a very special day to celebrate the YMCI grads. I hope you will take a moment to reflect on the education you have worked so hard for and the experiences that have made you the person you are today. Because this is just the beginning. Everything you have done and accomplished so far will lead you to your next chapter. And whatever your post-secondary plans, Please know that your school community is so very proud of you and excited for the journey that you are about to embark on. My ask is that you don't let fear and self-doubt sabotage your journey. The most rewarding parts of life are the challenges that you overcome. 
And this class of 2021 knows a lot about challenge and adversity, perhaps more than any other graduating class of recent years, as you have spent the last 15 to 16 months of high school in the midst of one of the world's worst health crises of the modern era. This pandemic has reached, wreaked havoc on so very many things, but it has also shown us the resilience and strength of our students. And this resilience and inner strength will serve you well as you move on in the next chapter of your lives. Today, I wish you a very hearty congratulations on your well-deserved success. I hope you have a safe and happy summer, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, you did it. Hello parents, teachers and staff, and of course graduates. My name is Ron Felsen. I'm the superintendent of education for this school and for other schools in our learning network. And I am so happy to be here to wish you congratulations on your graduation. This has not been an easy year. There is no question we've had a share, our share of challenges, but you have made it. Whether you were in our virtual school or whether you were in our bricks and mortar school coming every other day, wearing masks in cohorts, we're ready to put this year behind us, and we're looking forward to a positive and exciting year next year. Whether you've chosen the apprenticeship pathway, the college pathway, workplace, university, or even if you're coming back to finish up some credits, we are so happy for you and know that you are ready to move on to whatever you've chosen. You will now have the skills and the readiness to move forward because of your experience in TDSB. And so for that, I wish you congratulations and all the best in whatever you may choose going forward. Congratulations. Hi everyone. I'm Kathleen Wynn, Member of Provincial Parliament for Don Valley West. To all of the graduating students of York Mills Collegiate, congratulations. Despite all of the challenges this year brought on by a global pandemic, you have reached an important milestone and you deserve to celebrate. Well done. My message to graduates last year was that uh, their experience was unprecedented in our history. And that is doubly true for you. Last year, the second half of your year was disrupted. You were removed from your classrooms, separated from your friends, and you had to take full responsibility for learning from home. This year began with a return to some semblance of normal school attendance, but again, for most of the year, you've been on your own with the support of your teachers and school staff at a distance and family members at home. No generation in Ontario's history has had a comparable experience, not ever. So you are unique in many ways. You are unique personalities with unique skills and talents. You're also unique by virtue of your experience during this global health crisis. There are many things to regret about the isolation of the last year and a half, and you each know how you and your family has been affected. You have missed friends and family members. You've missed extracurricular activities and social interactions. And there's no doubt that for all of you, this has not been the year that you would have chosen, but you have lived a piece of world history. Some of you have developed new technical skills. Some of you have reached out to isolated seniors and people in need of support to deliver groceries or just to check on them. Some of you have developed connections with young people in other parts of the country or in other parts of the world. Some of you have lifted spirits by entertaining online. Some of you have demonstrated your skill at group work and connection even at a distance. You will have stories to tell for years to come. You will realize that your ability to achieve success despite COVID-19 taught you lessons about yourself and about your ability to adapt. There will be stories, music, movies, theater that will be rooted in these experiences and your generation will produce all of that. There's already new science developed because of this pandemic, new strains of vaccine, new public health awareness, and you will take the lessons of COVID and do a better job at health policy. Your generation will not repeat many of the mistakes that you have lived through. 
There will be public debates for years to come about working virtually, the nature of retail spaces in our towns and our cities, and the benefits and dangers of online learning for children. You will have important opinions about all of these things because of your experience, and our society will really need your voice and need your perspective at the table. These are hard won lessons, but because you are resilient, capable, well-educated Ontario young people, you will lead the way in applying your learning. So as you leave high school for whatever lies ahead, please take care of yourselves. Your teachers, all the school staff, your family and friends have done everything in their power to set you up for success. Some of you are feeling optimistic about your next steps while some of you are feeling more hesitant. Just remember that each and every one of you has the capacity for success, whether you move on to college or university or a skilled trade, or whether you're going to go to work right away, or whether you're going to come back to high school to do some more courses. There are people who want to help you and who want you to succeed. Seek them out, accept their guidance. I wish you all the very best of luck in the days ahead and in the months and the years. Felicitations, congratulations. Hi, I'm Rob Oliphant, Member of Parliament for Don Valley West. Today, I'm very happy to congratulate the York Mills Collegiate Institute Class of 2021 on the occasion of your graduation. I give a special shout out today to the teachers, the parents, the volunteers, the staff, and your principal who have made this journey possible for you. Today's celebration is the culmination of all your efforts. Your growth in knowledge, leadership, and maturity is commendable. And I'm confident that the time you have spent here at York Mills has helped prepare you for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead as you continue your academic journey, take a year off, or as you enter the workforce. The last couple of years have been uniquely difficult for all of us due to COVID-19, but you have persevered as individuals and as a community. The shift you've had to make to virtual learning has presented new challenges that you've had to overcome at a difficult time in your studies. COVID-19 has left us all feeling a bit more isolated than ever. But as we gather again together in the coming months, I hope you'll be able to look back on these times of adversity with some sense of fondness, where you came together virtually as a community to build a world that's inclusive, caring, and kinder. Today I offer my warmest wishes to all the graduates and I hope that you have the very best of luck wherever your new paths lead you. Good evening to York Mills graduates, your family, friends, teachers, and special guests. Thank you for logging in to the commencement program for the class of 2021. My name is Leslie Gage, and I'm the principal of York Mills. It is my privilege to say a few words to the graduates, but first, I would like to take you on a quick virtual trip to the place that you've called home for the past few years. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round And you can't find a fighter by seeing you so we can walk it out
you enjoyed the video. The powerful words of singer-songwriter Andrew Day encapsulate for me what you, the class of 2021, symbolize, and that is resilience. Your last two years of high school have been anything but ordinary. How many times in the last 18 months have we had to pivot to a different learning model, leaving you to adjust? Google Classroom, Brightspace, WebEx, Zoom, breakout rooms, jam boards, whiteboarding. What the heck is a jam board? But that is what resiliency is all about. By definition, resilience is the process of adapting well in the face of adversity, when you are stressed or when your best laid out plans have changed. And throughout all of this, you rise up. Not only have you adapted, you have succeeded and excelled. Although the virus has touched each of us and has challenged our resolve, the pandemic has not defined who you are. Rather, it has provided an opportunity to show who you are, and you have. You rise up in spite of the day. You have grown to be critical, creative thinkers, empathetic and caring, socially, globally, and environmentally responsible, knowledgeable and intellectually curious. You have risen up to be a York Mills grad. You embark on the next part of your journey armed with something that no one can take from you. That is your education. This is power. This is confidence. Remember this when you are afraid, when you waver, when you don't think you can muster up the energy to finish. Remember how hard you fought for this moment. Whether your path is to further your studies at college or university, or you found a job opportunity, or a skilled trade, or you're taking a year to exhale, you have accomplished this goal and have earned your high school diploma. You rise up and do it a thousand times again. Now you must prepare to achieve your new goals. You must prepare for your future greatness by continuing to be resilient, and this is no easy task. Resiliency does not come naturally. Like the many hours you have spent studying, rehearsing, creating, practicing, this too requires intentional focus, reflection, and refinement. I remain inspired by your strength, and my wish for you is to continue to rise up. Never stop dreaming and inventing. Rise up to give all of yourself. Keep reading. Keep writing, dancing, and painting. Rise up and give all of yourself and do it a thousand times again. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you, Ms. Chernos Lin, Mr. Felsen, Ms. Wynn, Mr. Oliphant, and Ms. Gage. Departmental Proficiency Awards are awards of high distinction granted in each discipline to recognize the graduating students who have demonstrated outstanding achievement in the subject.
congratulations to all our Proficiency Award winners. The next group of awards is made possible by donations from members of the York Mills community. Each is presented by a York Mills staff member. I am pleased to introduce the Above and Beyond Award. It is given to a student who demonstrates achievement in activities and skills required for success in the areas of work, vocational training, and or independent living, and who has successfully contributed to improving the school and community. Our winner has not only reached the goals that we had set out for him, but he's also reached and attained his own goals. He's continually thinking of others with a pure and caring heart this year's Above and Beyond Award is given to Mark Masanvu. Congratulations, Mark. Good luck on your graduation and all the best in the future. Take care. The Excellence in Education Award is presented annually to a well-rounded graduating student who is passionate about improving the world. This year's recipient is a leader who epitomizes this quality. He uses his STEM skills in many clubs at York Mills and also has built on his own time a text to braille machine to aid the visually impaired. Congratulations goes to Efe Toschioto. The Exceptional Student Award is given to students who through self-advocacy and hard work accomplish their goals. Our winners self-advocate for their learning, advocate for others, and have grown in understanding their learning to achieve exceptional academic success. Congratulations to Matthew Black and Luca Kajic. The Joe Family Scholarship is given through the generosity of the Joe Family to the graduating student who has either overcome adversity or who has encouraged others to overcome their adversities through compassion and her perseverance. This year's winner has done just that through her support of her community during the pandemic. This year's recipient is Aya Khan. The MP Citizenship Award is presented to the graduating student who has distinguished themselves by exceptional engagement in civic duty or community service and thus contributed to our school spirit. Our winner has led the Newcomers Club in its goal of welcoming students to York Mills Collegiate. Congratulations, Ilias Erdogan. Next, we have the Music Achievement Graduate Award, recognizing an exceptional music student here at York Mills. The winner is being recognized for their high standards as they've journeyed through music education here at York Mills these past three years on alto sax, piano, and a music council. Congratulations to Kevin Tam. The OSSTF District 12 Jim McQueen Excellence in Education Award is given annually to a graduating student who has achieved a high level of academic success and demonstrated outstanding dedication to community service and humanitarian causes. This year's recipient gives many hours of service to her community in and outside of school. She also provides volunteer leadership in many organizations. Congratulations to Kristen Lee. The Peter Pauley Memorial Award is in memory of Peter Pauley, former curriculum leader of English at York Mills Collegiate Institute. This award is given to a deserving student who has demonstrated a passionate interest in English, film, or media studies, and will be pursuing further studies in one or more of these disciplines. This year's recipient is passionate about set design and will pursue a future in performance arts. Congratulations to Rosa Sakapur. The School-Wide Initiative Award is an award given to a student that has contributed to the betterment of school culture. This year's winner has been involved in many different areas of the school. Under different cult circumstances, Catherine has fulfilled the role of Club Head of Student Council, BOH Youth Leaders, and Music Council. Congratulations, Catherine, too. Every year, York Mills nominee for the Schulich Leaders Scholarship earns the right to be designated as a Schulich leader. Each year's winner is recognized for excellence in the STEM fields. Congratulations to this year's winner, Kristen Lee. 
Hi, I'm Ms. Gluskin. The Social Studies Model Student Award is granted to a student who has taken social studies courses, wishes to pursue further studies in this area, and has made extracurricular contributions. This year's winner has taken a wide range of history and geography courses. He recognizes the importance of these subject areas to understanding the world. He will pursue future studies in geography and the environment. Congratulations to Josh Mearsch. Hello, my name is Mr. Geddes, and today it's my pleasure to announce the Student Success Award winner. The Student Success Award is given to the, a student who has overcome obstacles on their path. This year's winner has had personal obstacles to overcome, but has been more proactive and planned for her future success. Congratulations to Fiona Young, this year's recipient. The University of Toronto Book Award is in recognition of exceptional abilities, both in personal and academic achievement. This year's winner has been involved in many clubs at York Mills. Congratulations to Iman Khan. The York Mills Literary Award is presented to the student who appreciates a wide genre of literature. This year's winner is a self-described bookworm. Congratulations to Rosa Sahapur. The York Mill String Award is presented to a top string student who is pursuing a post-secondary degree in music. This year's winner takes pride in the hard work that has led to her musical successes in both viola and in violin. Come the fall, she will be studying music at the University of Toronto. Congratulations to Jia Choi. The YMSAC Parent Council Award is presented to students who have shown resilience and perseverance. Both of our winners have pushed through difficult circumstances to get themselves ready for their post-secondary futures. Congratulations to Sarah Nachita and Athena Vidoris. Congratulations. What a wonderful group of award winners. And thank you to all our community award donors and presenters. We will now proceed with the York Mills Provincial and National Awards. The Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award is granted to a graduating student in recognition of exemplary student involvement in the community. This year's worthy recipient has volunteered with the COSY Project to raise funds for the Encampment Support Network and has been actively involved at York Mills as Student Council Vice President and Peer Tutoring Exec. Our winner is Iman Khan. The York Mills Trophy is presented to a graduating student in recognition of truly outstanding scholarship and citizenship. This year's winner is described as a motivated self-starter. Not only is she a top level swimmer, but she's the president of the programming club and the president of the York Mills Athletic Council, where she promotes healthy active living and mental well-being throughout the school. Congratulations to Naomi Lowe. The Principal's Award for Student Leadership is presented to a graduating student who has demonstrated outstanding leadership qualities. I have had the pleasure of working with this year's recipient, Aidan Ali Katra, who is an exceptional student in so many ways. He has been a mentor and leader in numerous clubs and councils where his level of organization and commitment is unparalleled. This year, he transitioned to a virtual platform as president of our student council, where he continued to engage York Mills students with a variety of activities and events. Aiden is a leader who supports and encourages those around him to want to learn and achieve more. You have definitely raised the bar. Congratulations, Aiden. The Governor General's Academic Medal is granted to the student that achieves the highest academic average in their final year of high school. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Omar Adil. The York Mills Gold Award is presented to the graduating student who has received the highest average in six senior credits all taken at York Mills. This year's recipient received 100% in computer science, advanced functions, chemistry, physics, and computer engineering technology, and a 99 in calculus. Congratulations to Effie Tassiaglu. 
Please join me in giving another round of congratulations to all these truly outstanding award winners. We're very proud of you. We will now begin to present the Ontario Secondary School Diplomas to our graduates. Thank you.
Graduates, there's one more little thing to do to make this official. Please take the tassel on your cap and move it across to the left. Now I'm pleased to present to you the graduating class of York Mills Collegiate Institute 2021. At this point in the program, you, the graduates, may want to hear from someone your own age. But first, Ms. Hepburn and Mr. Bryant would like to say a few words about your valedictorian. This year's valedictorian demonstrates all of the qualities of an exceptional York Mills graduate and more. She is dedicated, reliable, committed, warm, enthusiastic, and a passionate leader. Consistently willing to help others and go above and beyond, despite the circumstances of this most challenging year, she acted as a role model to her peers. As co-president of the Newcomers Club, this student distinguished herself by fostering a welcoming, inclusive, and engaging environment for all newcomers to York Mills. Despite the limitations of virtual learning, her leadership and dedication ensured that week after week, students had a place to gather, play, and create bonds of friendship. Her creativity and resiliency helped guide the club by ensuring a focus on the student experience and by always advocating for new and dynamic ways to support the newcomers of York Mills. And so with that, we proudly present to you your valedictorian for 2021, Manal Muhammad. Respected instructors, administrators, parents, and the outstanding class of 2021, good evening. Students, regardless of whether we're ready or not, we are about to take the next important steps in our lives after high school. I was fortunate enough to be selected to speak on behalf of our fellow graduates and reflect on our collective journey throughout the last couple of years at York Mills. I'd like to thank you all for giving me this opportunity to highlight our overall experiences. I would like to start off by giving an exclusive congratulations to my fellow classmates. We made it. All of our hard work has finally paid off. I truly believe with everything we've been through, we are the most deserving class to graduate. We have, for the most part, become somewhat more productive and learn to make better use of our time. Maybe not during the beginning of quarantine, but I'd hope at least by now, though we have persevered to excel during such a rocky end to our years at this school. With that, I know we are capable of conquering any and all other challenges that come our way. Though, I understand that there's a lot of pressure on us to accomplish great things. I'm experiencing that as well. I can be rather demanding of myself and my work, and I'm constantly under pressure. However, while I'm sure many of you went through the same, especially through these times, we've done more than proven ourselves, because it is only then, under said pressure, that we were able to recognize what is outstanding. We strived to do our best through the hardships, and now a place further than the universe is awaiting us. Whatever place that may be, whatever road or pathway you may take, may it be a triumphant one. May it be a journey constantly filled with joy and a plethora of dreams come true. And as cheesy as that sounds, even if it's a stretch, I truly hope all of us do achieve our own versions of success, preferably with maintainable sleep schedules. As you might expect, high school comes with many freedoms and there are so many potential life-changing choices to make during our time here. We have established our friends, values, and trying to figure out what goals we may want to achieve in our lives. This is marking the beginning of a new chapter. The very reason why we are joining this ceremony today is because we have made the right choices that would lead us here at this moment. This graduation brings us together regardless of how much or little we know each other or how far apart we may be from one another. With our own lives and futures to consider and whether our paths with friends drift, continue on, or cross into each other later into the future, we will always remember the experiences we've had. Some of us know what we want to do in the coming years and some of us might not be ready to make such a confident decision yet. 
Even so, some friends will be attending the same or nearby schools. Some might want to travel, begin working, attend schools in different countries. Whatever happens, know that friendships are what you make of it. I know close friends will remain in contact with each other through their adventures in life. Some might drift. Just remember that that's perfectly natural and to never forget the amazing memories you've created with those special people in your lives. To conclude, I hope you will take the lessons you've learned during your time at York Mills and apply them to a better future. While this year's circumstances were less than ideal, rest assured that we managed them to the best of our abilities and that we can now look forward to a bright future ahead of us. You are all more than capable of overcoming any future challenges that may arise. Perhaps not a second pandemic, but something else entirely. You've all endured a difficult high school experience that you've never had before and triumphed. And needless to say, you should be beyond proud of yourselves for that. Congratulations once again, class of 2021. Thank you to all the York Mill staff who volunteered to make today's ceremony happen. Some of whom we've seen and many who work behind the scenes. We couldn't have pulled this event off in such a short turnaround without their help. Thank you to the York Mill's office staff for all the preparation you've done Thank you to Christina Valdez, Desiree Timler, Christina Ben, Jenny Cairo, and Suman Kokar under the leadership of Shazila Ali. Thank you to the commencement and awards committees for all the hard work and countless hours you put into the organization of this event. Thank you to Tina Zaponi, Rick Mahoney, Denny Lee, Risa Gluskin, and Janessa Dwart. And thank you also to our tireless caretaking staff and our beloved hall monitor, Kareem Nanji. And we would be remiss if we did not also thank our fearless leaders, Vice Principals Andrea Lill and Paul Joblin, and our Principal Leslie Gage. Thank you. I'd also like to thank our generous donors and guest presenters. And none of this would be possible without the outstanding work of the BOH class and Ms. Antoniadis, who put this video together. Thank you. And thus concludes our 2021 commencement ceremonies. Congratulations, class of 2021.